director de Dedia, and today we're going to learn how to create this animation we see here. So 2016 is ending, and it would be rather nice to make something commemorative for the entrance of the new year. We will start by creating a new composition. Go up to Composition, New Composition. And it will be 800 by 600 pixels, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds long. Let's name this composition Happy 2017. And press OK. Now that we have our composition, grab the type tool and we're going to write 2017. I'm using Nassau Sans Ball, size 117. We center the text with the Align panel. Align vertical and horizontal. The next thing we're going to do is separate each number with a mask. That means we're going to create four masks. To do this, grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on top of the number 2. Then we rename our layer as number 2. And we duplicate pressing Ctrl D. We grab the moving tool and we double click over the mask and drag it until we get this number to zero. We repeat this process with the rest of the numbers. Now with the pen tool, remove the fill color and change the stroke to 28 pixels. Let's leave it with its default color, that since it's red, it will help guide us when we're tracing. Turn off the three last layers so we will just see the number two layer and we have no other distractions. Grab the pen tool and start tracing over the two. Try to go as close as possible to the path. These lines are now on the timeline, like a shape layer. Change the name to Reveal and put it on top of the layer number 2. Press F4 to see the track made. Press F4 to see the track made. Make a matte alpha of the number 2 layer with the Reveal layer. What we have to do now is select Reveal and add Trim Path. Activate the animation clock, click at End on the beginning of the timeline and then place it up to 100% of frame on second one. Select the last keyframe and click with the right button to change the frame assistant to Easy Ease. Then with the first frame, Repeat the process, but this time select Easy Is In. This will make the animation softer and more natural. Select the number 2 and reveal layers and create a precompose. Go up to Layer, Precompose. Name it number 2 and move all attributes to the new composition. Press OK. 
double click over the new composition to get inside. The first thing we're going to do once we're inside is to select the text layer and change the color. The color code I used is asterisk FDC606. Select both layers and duplicate pressing Ctrl D. Move these layers three frames up, pressing Alt Avant Page 1, 2, 3. Change the color of the second text layer with the code asterisk F3D8A1. Repeat the previous steps, duplicate and move three layers. Change the color of the third layer with the code asterisk EBBD63 and press OK. So we have our first number animated. Let's move to the zero. Once again, grab the pen tool and redraw the zero. We can always change the anchor points to get as close as possible. Now select the shape layer and name it Reveal. Add Trim Paths and move the stroke to 0% End. But first, we have to change the direction of the shape. alpha mat on the number and reveal layers. And then we make a pre-composition of both layers by pressing shift ctrl c. Go inside the composition. Inside the composition we change the text color to asterisk fdc606. Duplicate both layers and move it three frames like we did with the previous number. Modify the color of the second layer to asterisk FD8A1. Repeat the same process and change the color of the third layer to asterisk E, B, B, D, 6, 3. So now that we have number 2 and 0 done, repeat the same process with the rest of the numbers. Now that we've finished with the numbers animation, we're going to create a new solid for our background. Let's go to Layer, New, Solid, and color it with asterisk F, 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 C, E6 and name that layer BG from background. Drag our BG layer to the bottom of the timeline. Next, to create the fireworks, we will create a shape layer. For that, let's go up to Layer, New, Shape Layer and name it Fireworks. Then we put it in a group 
and we called Fireworks 01, and we had a rectangle with a fill color. Change the size to 2 pixels wide and 40 pixels tall. Then we activate the position animation clock and place ourselves on second one. Move on the Y axis minus 120 pixels. Now on size, activate the keyframe at the beginning of the timeline with the actual size. Then go to second one and create a keyframe with the zero pixel value up with the rectangle size. Now select all these frames and press F9 on your keyboard. Open the graphic editor and modify the speed curve this way. Zoom in to see better. Go out of the graphic editor and select the Fireworks 01 group to which we add a repeater. To this repeater, add 36 copies and opening the property panel, we will establish in rotation 360 by 36 copies and in position 0 pixels in X. Lastly, we will put a soft yellow from the tool panel above. Minimize the whole group Firework 01 and duplicate, Ctrl D. We go inside the duplicate group and we change the number of copies in repeat 1 to 12 copies. And modify the rotation, type in 360 by 12 copies. Now we place the rectangle and modify the final position of the animation with a value of minus 90 pixels on axis Y. change the starting size of the rectangle from 14 to 7 pixels tall. And move them two frames pressing ALT right button. Then we give a purple color to the group Firework 02. <music>
duplicate this group with Ctrl D, open the properties of Firework 3, and modify the original size of the rectangle to 4 pixels wide and tall and the final position to 0 pixels tall. tall. On the final position, we will take it to minus one we'll take it to minus 110 on axis y. Now we modify the size of the rectangle. On the first frame, we type a 1 pixel value wide, 10 pixels tall, and on the second frame, 1 pixel y, 0 tall. This looks much better now. We have finished our basic firework. Now we just have to cut this layer with the animation ends. Duplicate the firework and move it a bit along the timeline and place it in your composition wherever you want. Duplicate again and open it so we can change the colors. Let's start with a light orange that looks kinda good with a turquoise blue. When you're done, duplicate and move around your composition. You can change the size pressing S on some of them and change scale. This one will be a 70%, this one an 80% and the last one 75%. So now what you should do is move them around your timeline so they appear on different times. Make a preview to adjust and make everything look good. This looks kinda nice. Well friends, this has been all. I hope you enjoyed and learned something you can apply to your future projects. The name is Hector Heredia and I say goodbye. See you on the next tutorial. Bye!